Welcome to Samsta Games, the place to find new strategy games. And today we're going to continue my let's play of Help Will Come Tomorrow. So in the last episode, me and Robert actually got stranded on the expedition. We had to stay the night out in the wild. So as we're coming back, you can kind of hear them arguing. I'm never going on an expedition with you again. I never got lost at Arcus. I'm never going on an expedition, period. I don't know how you guys do it. You always bring so much stuff, so it seems easy, but it's so difficult. It's freezing and there were no things to find. It was just terrible. I agree. And we both have hypothermia, which is kind of bad. So first thing we gotta do is we gotta cook some food. I'm going to tell myself and Juju's to cook, to roast an animal. We've got this reindeer, so we're gonna do that together. Me and Juju's, let's do it. Oh yeah, so he likes it. Uh, hopefully he'll recover the AP, we'll see. It'll be really nice. I'm not too happy working with him, but it seems to, everybody seems to like me. That's pretty good for me. And increases the camp morale as well, which is good. Now, let's give everybody some food. Everybody's a little bit hungry. Two portions for me. Two portions for Juju's. Two portions for Robert as well. And one portion for Sir Arcus. Next thing we need, need is a drink. So let me have a drink twice and Robert's gonna have one drink and we also need to make some more drinks so we're gonna do it later I think could we do anything because we've got hypothermia with that so I think here could we build simple cover additionally reduces the character's freezing level so if we do gathering strength or carrot will increase our freezing level that'd be really good can we build that is the question we cannot we don't have enough points for this. So we're going to need to go somewhere and gather more wood and things like that. Do we have enough with the sharp stuff? We do. So we just need some more sticks. So we're going to go on an expedition. Who is going to go? I don't think I should go because I've got the hypothermia. So we're going to send Juju's and Sir Arcus, I think. Does anything help with fatigue? Not really. Good honey. Moss. Good for frayed nerves. Well, we don't really need help with that. All right, never mind. Let's go. Uh, let's grab some clothes. I think I have some clothes. Yeah, I'm going to give it to Juju's. And we're going to send Juju's and uh, Sir Arcus to go on an expedition together. We'll give Juju's the clothes and we'll give... Sorry, not Juju's, but Sir Arcus the clothes. And we're going to give them the knife and also a hammer. I don't think the hammer is going to help us much. Give them lamp oil, but I don't think they'll use it. We need to find something that sticks. Plenty of sticks and a danger level insignificant. Let's do that. Okay, we found some sticks. That's good. What is this? Stumped bullet holes. Danger level risky. Oof. Yeah, this is average. Let's go there. Oh. What a surprise. On the edge of the forest near the wreck, you find the traces of small, fresh camp. Someone tried to mask it and yet the renegades don't hide from you. Footprints indicate that two people came here, one of whom had to be a child. It's definitely Patricia. You have to tell Maria about it. Yeah, tell me. You found my brother. All right, where else could we go? This is all risky. This is average. Let's go there. And then we'll probably tell them to go home. I hope that this is enough stick. We don't need the honey. We could get rid of, like, maybe this bug. Instead, we'll grab the strings. Yeah, let's grab it. And let's go back home. And now, could we please build this? We really, really need to build this. This um, cover thing. Yes, we've got enough. We'll grab stove. No, we need to grab the scrap metal then. And material for the canvas. Solid, simple cover. We're gonna send, we're gonna use the hammer to make it as useful. And we're gonna do it myself and Robert. We're gonna do it. I know we are freezing and that we have hypothermia, but this is the only thing that can help us with that. So we're gonna need to do it. And we're gonna get Robert go first. I'm gonna let him take the place because. Actually, he could do it for himself and then for me. So we're going to tell him to gather strength. So heal. And this is going to help him with the freezing level. And then he'll care for me. So actually, I'm going to place myself first and then Robert. 
treat my condition. Oh, I, really, oh, I like that a lot. It increases my friendship level. I goes off the chat. Oh, I thought this would help a bit more, actually. Because we're supposed to lower freezing level, but we still both have hypothermia. It's not great. Oh, and we've got no more action points to make any drinks, which is a bit unfortunate. There is something gives us a bit as a beverage, the soup. But he's only... No, let's give the soup to... To Robert. That help us out a lot. All right, so we're gonna send me... Actually, who do we wanna send to sleep? Because Jujus is exhausted. He's dying of... They don't, their health and morale will drop at night significantly. He has pretty high health and morale. And hypothermia does what? This character's dying. If you don't warm them up, their health is the same. My morale is much lower than Juju, so I'm gonna send myself and Robert here to rest. You two rest. Nobody can go here, right? No, okay. And I'm going to increase the the warmth here until it increases the camp visibility. We're losing a little bit of the mold, but we don't care so because we only use it for that. So we're just gonna go to sleep now. Wow, this was a rough day. Very rough day for us. This was bad. Maria, I have to tell you something. This cam flash came near the wreck. The footprints indicated that there were two people, one adult and... Patricia! I knew he's alive! Relax, don't jump to a conclusion. There are probably other children on the train. I can feel it's Pieta. We must go to find him in the morning. He made friends with another survivor. When they both join us, we will have a better chance of survival. Yeah, we must... We are going. It's my brother, okay? Of course, we will search the area in the morning. Ooh, I like that. Let's talk about my grief. Thought of Petrosha and me, and Nadia the cook and all the service. None of us wanted to take this route. Why is the world arranged in such a way that for the convenience of some rich people, we all have to work and risk our lives? I don't want to sound rude, but nobody forced you to work. You were on the train of your own free will, and what happened along the way was not the fault of the passengers, regardless of their position. My own free will? What choice did we have when my father died, my mother got sick, and my Michael died? I was taken to the army. Not great. <laughs> we had to go to work, and we're from a fair family, and do not touch what doesn't belong to you. But nobody rewards us for these virtues. Did anyone cheat on you? Were you beaten or humiliated at work? Child, don't complain, because you're more fortunate than most of the passengers in the rest of the service. Please, conservative, is keeping to all the established rules is crucial for this character. If it hadn't been for those darn riots, the Imperial Gendarmerie would have dealt with deserters and thieves. Nobody would have suffered if people had listened to His Majesty Nicholas. But if the nobles had listened to the prayers of the people, who would have signed the peace long ago and Uncle Toto would have returned from the army. Child, you may deserve compassion, but please don't teach us things you don't know about. I'm not looking for a quarrel with you. We already argued the whole night we were stranded. I'm not gonna argue with them anymore. Okay, I don't wanna clarify with you. Even if we disagree, you can count on me. I know how to avoid trouble. But they all like that a lot. I think everybody loves me now. We gotta check like the relationship. Imbral fell a little bit, but it's okay. Let me check the relationships. Ooh, what's happening? What's happening? The day started with a heavy wind and a heavy branch broke off from one of the nearby trees. It fell straight onto your shelter, but luckily no one was inside. The hatch is in miserable condition. You will have to roll up your sleeve and improve the structure today. All right, so we got to handle the frostbite. So first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to build this small wash tub. And this should help us. We're going to tell Robert and uh, Sir Arcus to do it. We're going to give them a hammer. And which will increase, I think, the quality of the whole thing. And we're going to try to let them do that. Because this uh, small wash tub gives us the chance to remove compress for frostbites, which will allow us to get rid of the frostbite that both me and Robert have. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to go and do that. So compress for frostbite with Robert and me. I don't think we're going to go anywhere this... Um, this day we're just gonna stay at home do it great so we both got rid of the frostbite next thing i want to do is i want to give food to everybody 
and I want everybody to get a drink. So I'm gonna grab Robert and let him do it. Now he normally doesn't like to do it, but um, sort of normally if he does it, cost him two actions, but that doesn't actually matter because he has only one action left, so we can still force him to do it even though he doesn't like it. And instead of, um, question, do we wanna just give the water to everybody? I think we do. Yeah, it's going to remove the thirst just the way it is, so we're not gonna turn him into a tea or anything. Next thing we gotta worry about is hypothermia. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here, I'm going to tell I'm going to tell Juju's to take care of Robert. Now, why do I do this with the care thing and not the actual gather strength thing? Both of these were gonna help us with the hypothermia. It's because, first of all, I don't have actions on the people who need it, but more importantly, this should increase the relationship between them because Robert's gonna be grateful to Juju's that he treated him, which is really helpful for us. So that's why I wanna do that. Next, I'm gonna do that same with me and Sir Arcus. Treat me, please. Great. So that helped me. So now I'm now just... Oh, uh, actually, so it worked with uh, Robert. He's now freezing. It didn't work with me. So we're going to have to do it again. So care. I need R Sir Arcus to treat me, please. Hopefully it's going to work out this time. Oh, we learned that Sir Arcus has a short attention span. When this character performs the same action the second or third time on a given day, they reduce their morale this way. Okay, so we don't want that to happen. All right, now I'm just freezing. We'll do it one more time. We'll try. And we'll let um, Juju straight me this time. Or actually, could Juju repair something? Yeah, the shelter needs repairing. So we'll tell Juju to repair the shelter. Increase its quality. And then we're going to tell both... Who needs sleep? Juju needs to rest and me for example and I want to try something what if we just turn the camp off it's gonna lower the camp visibility but it should hopefully be okay these two are sleeping they got some wind protection we'll, we'll try it we'll try what happens then oh you know what maybe instead of me well I'm cold if I stay outside I'm gonna get be freezing again but yeah, he's not that exhausted it's fine we'll try to see what happens in the night So let's talk about uh, Robert's leg. Something absolutely terrible. Dimitri, I see your lame thing. Show me the foot. I'm fine. If I eat my fill and then the step will even out. Did you freeze your toes or rip your tendons? Let me help you. Take care of more serious matters. Come on, don't try to be a hero, okay? If you start limping on, or you won't be able to walk, it's not going to be any help at all. It's not waste time. It's impossible to work with that, man. Robert, please, we must look after each other. If something happens to you, we might not make it. Just let me see the leg. I think this is the wrong thing, because this is what I should, Maria should be saying, not him, otherwise it doesn't make sense. But we're going to do it. To hell with it. Take a look. Like what you see? <laughs> not good. If you don't do something about it, you lose your foot. Idle chatter. Oh, we're gonna have to amputate the foot, maybe. Terrifying, but admirable. Oh, he likes that. In the morning, we must make sure that no infection or necrosis is gonna get on the leg. Otherwise, we'll have to cut it off. Wow, that'd be rough. No way, I've been through this before. I've been through worse. As long as the foot is not blue, it can heal itself. My body obeys my orders. Terrifying, but admirable. <laughs> this done a lot. Uh, perfect is the enemy of good. Let's talk about war and peace. I wonder what's happening now in the capital. When I was leaving, the people of Petrograd enough of these soft conformists from the provisional government. God sakes, man, can't you talk about anything else than politics? I certainly don't brag about my wartime achievements. <laughs> is that a hit on them both? It's about increasing. If I happen to tell something about the war, it's only to raise the spirit of our team. My person is irrelevant in these stories. What matters is only the morale of a human resourcefulness and determination. Captain, you sound as if you loved war. War can be terrible, but without it, the mankind gets lethargic. Already, Homer understood that only the trial of life and death brings out the best in man. 
You're a golden-mouthed indeed, Captain. Let's say that. I don't know what that means, but I like it. You're a golden-mouthed indeed, Captain. If the parliamentary government of the Republic stays in Russia for good, I foretell you politically... Oh, I see what that means now. I don't like idle talk. Oh, you're good at it. Politics is sacrifice to the nation, not just idle talk. But I understand that for you it is more convenient to sacrifice yourself by quickly dying in the war than to work on reforms, educate the nations, and improve the economy until old age. Elegies about people like you increases the morale. Actions of people like me fill bellies and build roofs overhead. Decide by yourself what is more important. Let's skip this. How are we doing? Ooh, we've got almost full actions on everybody. So it was a good decision to lower the... So it was a good decision to lower the, the campfire because it didn't actually hurt us too much. It's kind of fine. So just like something so we could don't go on expeditions thing things like that. But we're going to do it on the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did write down in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. -bye.